Okay, I've returned with some shocking news. So I've done the calculations. Uh, that this card is fifteen dollars. Yes, it is a rare from I don't know where it came from, but it is fifteen dollars. This card is seven dollars, and then this uncommon is six dollars. Wow. And then uh, memory is $2. So that was a total of $30. I'll show you my work here. It's actually the top here. And I thought the first opening was like maybe $6 if that. And I thought the last opening would be the one that is super expensive, but it turned out it was not. Uh, this one, I mean, basically is a $16 card and in a bunch of $3, $2 cards. So it was $23. So we paid 18, 18 cash in retail. We got back $23. Now I didn't count, you know, you can see that how many cards I counted. Now you might be like, why did I count the $1? It's, it was really bad. So I count the two $1 cards, which were mythics. I thought this card would be worth a ton of money. It turns out it is worth $4. You know, I, I, again, very shocking, very surprising, and something that like I had no idea that would be the actual numbers because the most shocking part was, I think I, I knew this had a potential to be worthless. So I knew that. I had no idea these two cards were worth any money, especially this one. So that is our $15 card. I'm almost certain that it came from like a really bad set. That it came from like Midnight Hunt. It looks like a Midnight Hunt card. It looks just like a Midnight Hunt card. So we're gonna open, uh, hopefully we pull something as good. But yeah, we are on mark to break even. Uh, almost, uh, now the $6 one really did hurt us. Holy moly, what is this? This is Marut. So it is one of these cards. Again, I don't know if they have any value. Manor Gate, that's a good card. It's a dollar. I didn't count the gates or stuff like that because I thought, oh, Swashbuckle, Criminal Ambitions Cost. Come on, come on. The Council of Four, Gale's Redirection. I don't know if this card is worth money or not. You may cast Exile, you may cast Exile without paying his mana cards for long as it remains in play. Exile target spell, you may cast Exile card for as long as it remains exiled. And you may spend mana as though it was any mana of any color. You may cast without, oh, without paying the mana cost. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, hmm, that is an interesting one. So I don't know if Gale's thingamajig is worth any money, but it could be. I have like a better understanding of this particular set than before. I believe it came from Midnight Hunt. Holy moly, that card was a, it's a commander card from Midnight Hunt. So it's worth quite a bit of money. So there you go there, consider. I don't know if consider is worth some money. Let's put consider on the ground. It does seem like a good card, Bar burn the Accused. Yep. 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 The Celestial. Legendary artifact. Oh, reverse. Reverse mountain. We'll take it. Uh, it's If it's neither day nor night, it becomes day as long as it enters the battlefield. Add one mana of any color. If it's night, it becomes day. Otherwise, it becomes night. Activate only as sorcery. Whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, you gain one life and you draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Okay, day, night, day, night, day, night. Again, not sure if that's a good card. I'm going to have to assume it is not from reading it, but, you know, who knows? I mean... All right, Shedrid or Bust. Uh, it's time for uh, big payout time, man. Time for Dominaria to pay me out. Cash me out, Domin. Oh, not even the Dominaria land. Cash me out, Dominaria. Alkalide, Prayers of the Binding. Oh, oh, wow, that was disgusting. That was truly, truly disgusting. Hammerhand. 
That was truly disgusting. Academy lore master. That is definitely not a good sign. So we have not done that well, unless Gale's Redirection is a good card, which it may not be. But we have Dungeons and Dragons. We have, I believe this is a set pack, right? It is 12 card set. Yeah, it is a set pack. We're guaranteed extra hits. All right, well, it's Celestial Unicorn, not what we're looking for right now. Manticore. Prosper, oh, this card used to be so good. Um, Whenever it enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. Okay, maybe this card is worth some money, I hope. Dueling Repairer. Okay, Skullport Merchant. Fighter Class in Silver Raven. Okay, Fighter Class. Not sure. Oh, man, we got we probably got hosed big time, guys. I'm, I'm guessing that we got hosed. I'm not loving the cards that are coming out of uh, Forgotten Realms. Oh, we need uh, Gnaw Bones. We need that dude. I think he's green. We need a dragon. Oh, man. This Grim Bounty. I think I played this set a lot of times. I'm remembering the cards a lot. Monk. The Fire Giant Duke. Okay. And an island. Whenever it is dealt damage, venture into the jungle. Uh, okay. Not the best. Wow, I don't, I don't think we can recover from this, guys. <laughs> it has been a very tough opening. But we do have some better packs later on, so keep, keep in mind that we do have some better high-end packs a little later on. Lightning Wolf. Maybe we can get maybe we can get that card again. That the hollow heads card. I'm pretty sure he came from this set. Chains of Fortune, Swamp, and a bridal gown. So, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. That was probably the worst opening so far. Unless Gale's redirection is worth. I, I don't think it is. I mean, it would be interesting if it was, but uh, I don't know if it is. But that is what we <laughs> came across with. I'm pretty sure there's no other about. Wow, I, I just got bloodied. All right, I mean, we're at, we're, I mean, we are, we're not doing well. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, we're doing really, really poorly. Uh, we do have some other sets left. Um, we got more Baldur's Gate. We got some more, you know, Forgotten Realms, I, I do like that set. It's kind of a cool set where you do Dungeons and Dragons.